Good morning, pupils. Доброе утро, ребята. Let's start our lesson. Начинаем урок. The topic of the lesson is Jane's sports blog. Тема урока и разбор сегодняшнего текста по теме блог Джейн по спорту. Look at the picture. What is Quidditch? How is Harry Potter related to it? Посмотри внимательно на картинку и вспомни, что такое Quidditch и как связана тема Гарри Поттера с этим видом спорта. Let's read the text to find out this information. Прочитаем текст и узнаем об этом виде спорта немного больше. Before reading the text, let's learn the new vocabulary. Listen, repeat and write down in your dictionary. Перед чтением текста запоминаем и записываем новые слова. Athlete Спортсмен, атлет. Broomstick Метла Chest Грудная клетка Guard Охранять Hoop Обруч Keeper Смотритель или вратарь. Net. Сетка. Pitch. Спортплощадка. Score. Набирать очки. Serve. Обслуживать. Set up. Установить или настроить. Teamwork. Работа в команде. Let's read the text and watch a video about Quidditch. My favorite sport. J.K. Rowling is famous for her books about the wizard Harry Potter. Harry's world is magical. But did you know you can actually play his favorite sport, Quidditch? I'm on my university team and it's brilliant. Here's how you play Quidditch. There are seven players in each team. One seeker, three chasers, two beaters, and one keeper. Each player rides a broomstick. The only difference to the film is that our broomsticks can't fly. You must keep the broomstick between your legs at all times. The chasers try to throw the ball through hoops at the end of the pitch to score a goal. The beaters try to stop them. The keeper guards the hoop. The seeker, that's me, catches the snitch. In the books, the snitch is a tiny magic ball. In real life, a player dressed in yellow carries it in a special bag. If I catch the snitch before the other team's seeker, my team wins. It sounds crazy, but Quidditch is great fun and good exercise. Would you like to play Quidditch? What's your favorite sport? What is the difference between Quidditch in the Harry Potter books and in real life? В чем различие игры Quidditch в книге про Гарри Поттера и в реальной жизни? We can't fly like Harry Potter, so we run around with our broomsticks between our legs. Мы не можем летать как Гарри Поттер, но мы можем бегать. Держа метлу между ногами. The next question. What quality must a Quidditch player have? Каким качеством должен обладать игрок Quidditch? It's all about teamwork. Самое главное качество – это командная работа. Now let's read the second part of the text. А теперь прочитаем вторую часть текста. It's about a sepak tackle. Вторая часть текста о виде спорта, который популярен в Юго-Восточной Азии. Sepak tackle. Он похож на разновидность волейбола. 
прочитаем о нем и послушаем информацию. Hi Jane, Quidditch sounds like a lot of fun. I wish there were a team in my area. In Malaysia, we have a really exciting sport called sepak takraw. It's similar to volleyball, but you can only use your feet, knees, head, and chest. So if you're good at football, you should try it. It's really popular across the whole of Southeast Asia, and here in Malaysia, it's our national sport. Each team has three players: the tekong, who plays up front, and two inside players called the left insider and the right insider. Just like volleyball. One player serves, but then the tekong must kick the ball over the net. If the ball touches the ground on the other side of the net, then the team scores a point. You should try it, as it's really fast and athletic. Next year, I'm going to join the school sepak takraw team. You should set up a team at your school. Let's discuss. The questions related to the second text. А теперь обсудим вопросы ко второму тексту. What sport is sepak takraw similar to? На какой спорт похож сепака такраw? It's similar to volleyball. Очень похож на волейбол. The next. Why should someone try sepak takraw? Почему некоторые люди пытаются играть в эту игру? If you are good at football, you should try it. Если у тебя хорошо получается играть в футбол, то тебе следует это попробовать. You should try it as it's really fast and athletic. Тебе следует попробовать, так как это действительно очень быстро и спортивно. А сейчас откроем маршрутный лист. Внимательно прочитать задание на формативное оценивание, изучи дескрипторы и выполни задание самостоятельно. Используй материалы данного урока. Good luck! Желаю удачи! Goodbye! The lesson is over!